just fast. I can't wait. Well, here we go. A little side project for J&K Racing. Uh, I don't know if... I don't think this has been on the channel yet. But this is a 1987 Polaris Cyclone 250X. 252 stroke. CVT. Just like a snowmobile. Uh, how we call it, Larry. Uh, this thing was uh, a freebie. Not running. We got it running. Beat on it terrible for quite a while and blew it up. Working on the motor at the moment. Uh... But basically, we drove it around with flat front tires for the longest time after they were shot. Um, got some free Hoosier tires. That's all we can get free. Rears are still good. Um, the tranny, well, we grenaded, well, the chain snapped. Wrapped around the sprocket here. Cracked the case. They uh, had to weld the case back together. That The tranny's fine. Now, then uh, our last J&K day, uh, well, we blew the motor up, piston. We think this skirt was cracked for a while on it, but anyway, Larry's going to be back and better than ever. I, uh, I've got most of the aluminum cleaned out of the crankcase. The, uh, the bearing on the big end bearing there is good enough. This is a Fuji motor. Just so you, just so you know. Um, well, I figured out today that the crank seals are bad. When I had this, I filled the crankcase up with gas just to wash it out. Just pouring out the side there on the shaft. So I got to do crank seals. I'm going to have to either get a big old bolt and make a puller for this or actually get a puller. I don't know. It's like 15 bucks too muchy. But I, uh, well, anyway, we're not boring this thing out either. The cylinder wall is actually in good shape still I poured at this thing a little bit nothing crazy i basically just blended the transfers to the sleeve um the exhaust i just matched it i raised it at like almost a millimeter and uh you know polished it and kind of just made it flow decent uh, the intake, I didn't touch too much of that, but, oh, there we go. The intake, I just cleaned it up, matched the port, because the port was smaller than the windows and the sleeve. Kind of smoothed out the front of the bridge, and, yeah, that looks decent. I shaved the head down ten thousandths, and, um... Tried to get out as much of the wreckage as I could in the dome, but there's enough squish still. So, that'll be fine once there's a gasket on there. We are reusing the gasket. I'm just going to throw some copper spray on there. Um, we were going to use the old rings, but I lost one of them. So, new base gasket, new mirror rings. Going back together, and I got for $27. Original new old stock piston. So I'm gonna slap the motor back together and we'll do the crank seals eventually before we run it again. I don't want to hurt this thing. Probably gonna have to get it some bigger, bigger jets for the for the uh, carb there. I wish we could get an aftermarket exhaust for this for free, but that ain't gonna happen. So this thing will. Even before, when it was running bad, if you gave it a head start, because it had a huge bog at the beginning, we're going to put a heavier spring in this clutch. It's got a blue spring in it right now. I don't know what's heavier than that. We're going to put something heavier in, get it to rev up a little more before it engages. It will beat a modified blaster at the moment. Bone stock, these make 30 horsepower, so hoping for 35 with all the stuff. It's been done. This thing will be fun. Uh, front end's real, real sketchy. Clunks, falls apart, no bushings in there. Uh, that's cobbled. It's a bad, 
really simple setup. It's just a strut lower control arm. That's it. Um, brakes are, uh, you know, hooked up safe. I gonna hook up rear brakes because it grinds because the, the rear brakes right on the input or what is it output? I don't know input shaft on the transmission. You're supposed to hit it the shift because <laughs> we usually just grind the gears right in. Um, we're also going to be, well, just because it's the best, we're going to be putting a, uh, a column shifter on here just to make it that much better. Look at this beautiful four-wheeler. Just mint. All right. It's a little cold for this stuff, but I don't care. There we go. I mean, I think you're supposed to actually put this on the casket, but I'm not going to try and pry that off of there. Because I'm way too cheap to buy another head gasket. <laughs> hey, we got the cylinder head all cleaned up. The dome's pretty much fixed from the explosion. I got the copper spray on there. So hopefully our end on here. So hopefully the old head gasket works. Um, we have... Where is it? There we go. Got the ring gaps, 14 thousandths. Um, there's kind of a cross hatch. Not really, but kind of. It'll be good enough. You know, our freight. There we go. Alright. We got the, uh, the case cleaned up there where the gasket goes. Um, that stuff's all flashed off, so. That's good. Uh, we're using the old bearing, wrist pin, spine bearing, spine rods. A little, a little worn out. There's some plate, but I don't care. Um, there's our mint, our mint new piston. That's bad. There's our mint new piston. Right there. I got the rings gapped up, and we're gonna uh, slap the piston on, and yeah, mint. Uh, alright, I got the piston on. Oh boy, this is bad. Um, I lost one of the little circlips. So, let's see if we can see in here. So you can see that in there, that clip is actually a, uh, let's see, a brad now. So, we're gonna run that. Um, gas gets on and we're ready to, I was having an issue getting the, um, getting the rings to go in, but they're um they're in there now so we're gonna slap the cylinder on and be all mint slid on and wipe it off we shall call it good all right beautiful beautiful okay, don't fall off i don't know if that filmed anything but mint mint just mint Yep, well, got the nuts uh, tightened down to, uh, you know, tight. That's going to be our torque specs for this thing. is tight. Look at that. Look at that exhaust port flow. Oh, that's just going to be... That is just going to be minty. Look at that bad cross hatch. Oh, well, kind of cross hatch. You know, worn out. The bore is oval, like, bad. There's... There's uh, tons of play this way, <laughs> but we don't care. It's Larry. Time to slap the head on and see if she's got compression. She is bolted back together. It's looking mint. Uh, she works. There's plenty of leakage. Plenty leakage. Cylinder don't look, don't look too bad down there. 
There is a cross hatch on it. Uh, it even passes the Briggs style compression check, which is um, put her back and okay, it bounces back. Motor's good, Briggs style. <laughs> nice, simple, basic. Hopefully the rings will seat a little better. There's in here. I mean, that's not awful. The compression's not awful. It could definitely be better, because, I mean, the cylinder's pretty oily even right now. But there's... It's only going to get so good with this pile of garbage. I ain't getting it bored or nothing, so... Yeah, I might have to get a puller for this clutch if I can't get it off. And I, uh, the crank seal is so bad. Like, uh, that's... It has to be done. No doubt about it. But other than that, I'm gonna I can still put the motor back in. Uh yeah. I can put that in, uh on this beauty. And um that'll be a pain because Polaris and I mean we lost half the bolts anyway when we pulled it apart real we pulled it apart in like a half hour real quick after it blew up. But yeah, it's not too bad. One of the motor mounts that one right there uh, snapped, still bolted on. We don't care. Three is key. Uh, yeah, she'll be, she'll be ready to go. Just, just fast. I can't wait. The weights, the weights on the clutch were completely frozen up. Two or three were frozen up. I got those freed up, so that should actually work now. Um, this has a blue spring. I think I said. I think a brown spring's heavier. I don't know. Heavier spring in this thing, though. I want her to engage at five grand. <laughs> and we can get some good launches out of it. Front end's sketchy. It's just perfect. 